Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you guys leave. For today's video, I decided I would do a high-end makeup hits and misses. Now, I do not have that much of high-end makeup. Very little and very concise amount, but that's all that I have invested my money in. I have saved for months and got one nice product and I got it after a lot of reviewing because of course if you're putting your money into some expensive makeup you will want to check all the reviews but despite all the reviews there were some makeup products that after using them I was like oh my god it's just not worth it and especially those are with the lipsticks some of the base products I do really really like so I'm going to go ahead and highlight the good ones where you should really really put your money into if you have that kind of saving and if you are interested in putting your money in makeup then you should go ahead and buy the hits but you should definitely pass on the misses because they will never be worth your money so let's get started so starting with the base products I just have one primer over here uh, the Smashbox photo finish primer now Smashbox gets the award for the best primer ever or something on those lines and uh, this is definitely one of my favorite hands down best primers makes your makeup last so so long in every freaking video of favorites I do make sure I mention this and I tell you all that if you have that kind of money please do go ahead and buy this primer because it will last you for very very long it's been a year since I have this and there's still so much product left you need a very tiny amount and it makes your makeup last beautifully for very long it's especially in this humid weather of Mumbai uh, for weddings for parties this is the primer you need it costs around 3000 rupees and this is the pore minimizing version photo finish foundation primer for oil free skin since I'm oily skin, this is the version I use. I'm sure this comes in like five or six variants. So you can go ahead to the store or to Nykaa and go pick out your favorite version of uh, the Smashbox primer. All of them retail for the same price. There's one for moisturizing, there's one for illuminating, but this is my favorite one. And this is definitely in the hits category because it is amazing. So for the next base product, I have two foundations here, two of the most expensive and hyped foundations of 2018. Uh, this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and this is the Huda Beauty uh, Faux Filter Foundation. Pro Filter, Faux Filter Foundation. Uh, so both of these were something I reviewed in 2018 on my channel. Now this right here, Fenty Beauty, I did not like so much at first. But over the past year of 2018, the more I used it, the more I fell in love with it. The only issue I had with this foundation was that it was oxidizing on my skin. But after full face makeup with powder, concealer, bronzer, blush and all of that, it looks really beautiful, stays on for really really long and does not look like makeup. So it's not going to look cakey, it's not going to crack, crease and um, you know look patchy in areas it's just beautiful the finish is beautiful and the coverage is maximum with a little amount your coverage is maximum that's the reason I love this foundation and I think $40 is what you end up paying for this but definitely worth it it's been over a year that I have it now and I've not gotten over with it but I'm sure I have reached uh, the very end of it and I need a new bottle of this. I'm in the shade 370 warm and I would definitely repurchase if I run out of this foundation. So this is a hit. For the miss part of it, you can of course imagine that the Huda Beauty foundation is a miss for me. Now I have no complaints with the coverage, I have no complaints with the shade category, I have no complaints with the brand. Uh, overall, I like the foundation. The only thing that irritates me is the scent of it and it's a strong smell, alright? So the fragrance is so, so strong that it, it does not bother me as such, but it bothers my skin. And every time I apply this foundation, I've noticed it from the very first day of my review of this foundation, which I will link down below in the description section, to every single time I wear it, even for a video or even to go out. I sometimes mix both of these foundations because then the coverage is beautiful this this provides you that flawless coverage for your acne scars and this is a beautiful fluid foundation but even if, even if I use a little bit of this it's going to break me out it's going to end up causing one or two breakouts on my forehead on my cheek and overall my skin loses it like it's luster I don't know what ingredient is present in this but somehow it just takes away the glow from my skin which was present which I have not noticed with any other foundation no matter what the price range. So if I'm paying $40, 
I don't want my skin to really break out, you know. So I paid Indian rupees for this foundation. I did not buy buy this from abroad. I think three thousand is the price on Nykaa, so that's what I paid for this foundation. But I am not using it that much. I have even stopped mixing it with other foundations because of the reaction it has on my skin. And I've seen a lot of people complain about the skin issues they have after this foundation. A lot of YouTubers and a lot of like my aunt herself says that she also she has like beautiful skin touch wood, but she also gets reaction all the time with this foundation. So. and i already have problematic skin so that's the reason i'm staying clear of this and i say it's a miss because if you're paying that kind of money along with the coverage and all the good stuff you need good skin as well so it's a miss now another base product i have and i think this is the last base product i have is a laura mercier powder you see that smile on my face it's because i love this powder so 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 much this is the powder that changes my makeup game every time i step out of the house i know that i need like if i'm actually going to an event or a party or a i am wedding for that matter or doing makeup on somebody else this is the powder i will use since it does not come in shades it's a translucent powder the laura mercier translucent powder no shades as such it retails for 40 dollars this is what i use on everybody like if i'm doing my friend makeup for their wedding or their sister's wedding or whatever whatever i will use this powder changes your whole makeup game makes your eyes look flawless beautiful no creasing no oily skin makes your makeup last through the entire event you dance you eat you do whatever you want but your makeup will stay put and i love the finish of this so finely milled no fragrance whatsoever no reaction with my skin love it and definitely a worthwhile investment so this is 40 dollars very expensive but again this is a hit Now I'm, I have a, like a bunch of lipsticks over here, but just one eyeshadow palette. So I'm just gonna quickly talk about this. I know this is from Dose of Colors, and you don't really consider Dose of Colors as a high-end brand, but then you don't even consider it as a drugstore brand. It's it's an independent brand. It's like Morphe. It's an independent brand, but it is expensive than Morphe. Morphe palettes are like forty dollars to the very maximum. Dose of Colors is pricier. This is uh, the Frenchation palette, which was in collaboration with Desi Perkins and Katie, and uh, this is for fifty-five dollars. I just checked on their website, and it's still available. So that's the reason I'm mentioning it in this video. Uh, this has some beautiful shades, and I'm very scared to tilt it because my blue shade is broken. Uh, but can you see the beautiful combination of shimmers and mattes that are present in this palette? It's one of the biggest biggest desires i had in 2018 to own the minute this palette launched i wanted to get my hands on it and it was very very expensive but my sister was very generous to gift it to me for my birthday and uh this is what i used all the while for all the weddings that were in january and also on my no on my birthday did i end up planning makeup but uh this is an amazing palette the shimmers in this palette are out of this world they are not something you will find in any other palette be it morphe be it anything else it's not loose pigment but it is like pressed pigment and like chunky glitter and just takes your makeup game to the next level your eyeshadow will sparkle there are there's a blue there's a black i wish i could give you a close up but my blue is just going to fall right off during a wedding it fell and shattered the pigments are so soft that once your palette falls something's going to shatter inside so there are beautiful colors in it and i hope i can do a makeup look on my channel with this very soon But know that if you want to invest in an expensive eyeshadow palette, this is going to be worth your money. It has beautiful mattes. There are browns. There are pinks that will work amazingly well for your crease, and then some nice, gorgeous, chunky glitters for your eyeshadow. So if you are a person who only wears makeup for like events and parties and weddings, this eyeshadow palette will do you good. So it's a hit. Now for a bunch of lipsticks, you know what a lipstick junkie I am. So uh, when it comes to spending my money, I do spend it on lipsticks, so I can use them on a daily basis. And uh, base products and lipsticks are some of my absolute favorite things to invest in. So I'm gonna start with let's do one hit, one miss. All right. So starting with my hit is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita 2. This is something I picked up from Dubai, and uh, I spent 90 dirhams on it. It's 20 dollars in the US, so comes out to be 1500 bucks. A beautiful shade, Lolita 2 is a shade that will match Indian skin on full face makeup. That is, uh, there's also Lolita 1, but I've not tried that. I think Lolita 1 looks. Uh, yeah, I did try it in the store. It looked a lot like Colorbar Hot Latte, so I didn't end up picking that one. 
This is more peachy, so I picked this one. It's a different sort of color. I've not found a dupe for this yet in my collection. I want to do a dupes video. I'm still on the hunt to find dupes for all of these makeup products. So once I do find them, I will do a dedicated dupes video for y'all. Uh, but this is definitely a hit. I love the formula. Amazing formula. No drying lips, no cracking. Will last you an entire day and uh, looks beautiful on your lips. Next lipstick for a miss is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Catherine. This is also from Dubai. This is also I guess $90 or $80. Uh, but I do not like the formula on this lipstick. Now I don't know if I got a defective version or just in general. But I have heard that ABH liquid lipsticks are very drying. Uh, this is a beautiful pink color I have. And it's a very unique pink. So I do like to put it on once in a while. But every time I put it on, it's so patchy. I just don't understand what's wrong with the formula because once you put it on, it's so wet. And another time, if you want to go touch up your lipstick, you'll just end up taking off everything you've put. So the application is a tedious task. It's like a whole uh, mat in itself. And then once the lipstick is totally dry, it's so drying. It's going to, even with lip balm, without lip balm, it's going to suck all the moisture from your lips and look so, so drying and crackly. That's the reason it's a definite miss from my end. They come up with beautiful shades. ABH liquid lipstick shade range is like enormous and very versatile. But the formula really needs working on. I, I get scared to buy another one to see if I've missed it with this formula and if the other li lipsticks are better. But I can't invest that kind of money again knowing that this lipstick didn't work for me. So this is a definite miss. Okay, so for the next hit, it's a Smashbox Bullet Lipstick. I don't know what these are called. Oh yeah, they are called the Be Legendary Lipstick. This I have in the shade uh, Jam on it matte. Uh, it's a beautiful purple color. I love, love, love the shade. Do you all want to swatch? Uh, I did not swatch the other two because I use them so, so often. But can you see how beautifully purple this is? My mother has used this a lot. Uh, and this formula of this matte lipstick is one of the best matte lipstick formulas out there. Not just in the high end, but also in the drugstore. Like overall in the market, Smashbox lipsticks are amazing. They retail for 1500 rupees, this small bullet lipstick. The color, the shade range is amazing. The formula is so nice. It sits so beautifully on your skin, uh, sorry, on your lips. And it's comfortable matte. It's not a matte that will be too drying. And since it's a bullet lipstick, I think many Indian women will be comfortable using it. Not everybody's comfortable using liquid lipsticks. So if you're looking for a good bullet lipstick out there in the high-end market, which will suit you and which will last through weddings and etc. This one should be on your to buy list, the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick. So this is a definite hit. Now same in the same high-end bullet lipstick category with the same price range of 1500 bucks, you also get the MAC lipstick. The MAC Taupe lipstick is what I own from MAC. This is a beautiful nude color. Um, but what I don't like about this lipstick is that it's not worth 1500 Now the formula is very very comfortable. It will also sit beautifully on your lips and everything. It will not emphasize your cracks, lines, etc. This is in the matte retro matte range. They have retro everything. Retro glossy, retro something. But this is the retro matte and this is the classic matte lipstick. I know many people own it and I know many people love it. But for me, if you compare and if you're pay paying that kind of 1500 you go ahead to buy a Smashbox lipstick than a matte lipstick because Smashbox is much more lasting, it's much more long lasting and it will um, sit more beautifully on your lips. I don't know how to explain but the longevity of a Smashbox lipstick is much more than a matte lipstick uh, and I love the color taupe and I use it all the time now that I have it and it's a nude so I can use it much more than I can use this purple but if I had a chance I would go ahead to buy a Smashbox nude as well so that I can use that also on a daily basis. I'm just saying that I would put this in my miss list because I was waiting to get my hands on a MAC lipstick forever since everybody raved about it. But when I got it, it didn't feel that special, you know, the hype didn't feel real. So that's why I'm putting it in my misses list. I don't feel it's worth 1500 rupees and this is my honest opinion. Now next for another hit is another Smashbox lipstick I have. This is the shade Red Ombre. It's a beautiful red color, very, very unique. It is an ombre shade, so it comes in those three variants. And how do I swatch it? Um, uh, uh. 
Can you see the three variant? I don't know if you can see very very clearly, but there's like red, a uh, slightly more vermilion red, and then like orange. So you get like triple tone color in this, and I think that's what it's called. It's called a triple tone lipstick in the shade red ombre. So when you like put it on from outside to inside, you get that ombre lip or uh, look, which is very fuller looking. Of course, it's a waste of money because this is 2000, and a regular lipstick of from Smashbox is 1500. So you're paying 2000 for getting that ombre effect, which you can definitely do mixing two colors. So you don't need it in your life. But since I have it, I'm mentioning that the formula is again beautiful, just the way a Smashbox lipstick formula is, and I think it's worth the money because it's a unique red. When I tried this one on, and I tried Boss the. Lily Singh Bows lipstick. Uh, I think this one looks much more unique than the Bows lipstick. The Bows is a very, very, very evident dupe of the Wet n Wild Missy and Fierce, and nothing in the world can replace Wet n Wild Missy and Fierce for me. So uh, that's why I didn't get that, and I got this one, uh, the Red Ombre. Every time I put this on, I get so many compliments, and so many people ask me how which lipstick is this. My sister every time she asks me which lipstick I'm wearing. Also, I keep telling her it's this one because it's so easy to just put on and go out of the house and get a whole look. You know, red lipstick can just take your look to the next level. So that's why I love it, and that's why it's a hit from my end. The next misses are two very expensive lipsticks. Luckily, I'm not paid for them, but they're very expensive. These are the Nars Audacious Matte Lipstick. I used to see all international YouTubers rave about the Nars Audacious Matte Lipsticks, saying. That uh, these are the best in the market, and if you need like the best lipsticks, bullet lipsticks in the market are the Nars Audacious Matte lipsticks. But when I got them, I was so 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 disappointed. Uh, I have two shades. One is Vera, and one is Charlotte. So I have Vera and Charlotte from their range. This is what uh, Vera looks like. Oh, my mother's completely used it. Wow. Uh, so she's not wasted the money. Uh, this is what Vera looks like. It is very beautiful. The colors are of course very very beautiful. Can you see? Yeah. And uh, I have Charlotte over here, which is a definite wine color. So I know my mother will not be using it that much. This is what Charlotte looks like. Okay, so now I'll tell you what my problem with this lipstick is. One that it's super super hyped. I have no issue as such. These are just like they are long wearing. Okay, I'm not gonna uh, say that they're not long wearing and stuff like the Mac lipstick, but they're very very glossy. When you put it on your lips, they're not very flattering, and I have really fuller lips. So if I put these on, they look very very full. I don't know if they have a plumping ingredient in them, but they look very full, and they're very they're highly pigmented. That's no doubt, and they are long lasting, no doubt. Of course, you're paying forty dollars for these, forty or twenty dollars for these. I'll I'll put the price range here. So you're getting that kind of quality. It's just that the hype is not real again. Just same like the Mac lipsticks. And I feel the more you hype a product for me, my expectations go through the roof. And then when I buy that product, it's like down there. It is very glossy, and every time you're going to eat something, it's going to transfer on everything. And I know that's an issue with every bullet lipstick, but with the Smashbox ones, I really don't get that. And Smashbox lipsticks are not that transferring as much as the Nars lipsticks are. So I know Nars is not available in India, and you don't. Uh, many people do not care for this review, but just in case uh, you also had this on your wish list, you can remove it because I was very disappointed when I got these. So they are definite miss from my end. And the last hit I have is the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade Cheerleader. This is one only one lipstick I have. I gifted this to myself for Christmas. Um, this is the only liquid lipstick I own from her range because I wanted to test out the formula. Uh, so Cheerleader is a nice blue tone red color. I will insert a selfie over here if I have of me wearing this. It's a uh, little, slightly little different from uh, from 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 Misty and Fierce from Wet n Wild, but I prefer Misty and Fierce more. So I'm not saying this is a miss because I love the formula on this. It's matte, but it's not drying. It does not dry your lips. Does not emphasize your cracks. It does not transfer. And the best part I like about these liquid lipsticks is that they feel weightless. So they don't feel that you're wearing this heavy liquid lipstick, which is like uh, drying and heavy, and you want to take it off. You don't get that feeling once you put it on. You can forget about it. It's not going to come off, and you're not going to think that you're wearing liquid lipstick. So that's what I love about this. Again, she offers a variety of shades for you to choose from. Uh, this is one of the reds I like. You can go to a Nykaa store near you and swatch all of them on your lips and then choose. That's what I did. 
So yeah, these retail for sixteen fifty. I want to tell you, but I'm not sure, so I'm gonna leave it on the screen right now for how much this retails. And that completes this video. So yeah, that was it. That is all the high-end makeup I have, the hits and the misses. Uh, so you can decide for yourself that if you have some saved up money and you want to spend it on makeup. You can definitely, without a doubt, spend it on my hits list because trust me, I'm a girl just like you, and I know what it means like to spend your own money on makeup. And if you are disappointed, it feels really, really sad. So that's why I wanted to make this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I make videos once every week, so you will see me here once every week. And if you want to get notified for my videos, which I'm sure you want to, uh, click on that bell right next to the subscribe button, so that every time I upload a video, you get a notification and you can watch it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.